Oh, welcome or welcome back to any help at C-square. In this example, we need to find the derivative of this two function. And I'm going to use what is called chain rule. And also, I'm going to use the product rule. Why the product rule? Because you notice here, both functions are products of two other functions. So let's start with part A. And Y prime, in this case, will be D, the derivative with respect of X, D over DX, of what? Of this product 2X times the quantity 3x plus 1 to the third power. So first of all, like I said, I'm going to use the product rule, which tells me I have to do the derivative with respect of x of the first function, 2x times, I'm going to keep the second function, 3x plus 1 to the third power. And then I'm going to move to the second part of the product rule, which says keep the first function, in this case 2x, times the derivative with respect of x of the second function, which is 3x plus 1 to the third power. So let's see what we can do here. First of all, we can do the derivative with respect of s of 2x, which is 2 times 3x plus 1 to the third power plus 2x and now let's move to the second part so here we're going to have to use like i said here the chain rule so i'm going to have this function 3x plus 1 to the third power so that 3 goes up front times 3x plus 1 to the second power so i use the power rule first here and then by the chain rule i'm going to do the derivative with respect of x of uh, 3x plus 1. So be careful here of this power rule and chain rule. So we have here 2 times the quantity 3x plus 1 to the third power plus 6x times the quantity 3x plus 1 to the second power and now the derivative of 3 at 3x plus 1 is just 3. So what can we do here? Uh, what I will suggest you here to do it is to factor out the 3x plus 1 and to the what power? To the second power. That is the smallest power in this sums of function. And then we are going to have here inside of the parentheses 2 times the quantity 3x plus 1, which comes from the first part from here. And then for the second part, we're going to have plus 6x times 3, that is 18x. A little bit more simplification. So we're going to have 3x plus 1 to the second power. And here we're going to have 6x plus 2, distributive property, plus 18x. And the final form, I will say y prime will be 3x plus 1 to the second power and inside of the parentheses we're going to have 24x plus 2. Of course you can factor out a 2 if you want in the second parentheses or you can keep it like that. So now let's move to the second one, part B. Similar, we're going to have f prime of x which is going to be the derivative with respect of x of this expression. Which means what? I'm going to use the power rule first. I'm going to have the derivative, not the power rule, the product rule with respect of x of what? Of x squared plus 1 times the second function x minus 1 to the 4 power plus, then I'm going to keep the first function which is x squared plus 1 and I'm going to have the derivative with respect of x of the second function, which is x minus 1 to the fourth power. So this is the uh, product rule in action. And let's see what we can do. We can do a simplification here, the first part, and that will be 2x times the quantity x minus 1 to the fourth power plus uh, x squared plus 1 and now what is the derivative of x minus 1 to the 4 power? I'm going to use the power rule first 4 times x minus 1 to the third power. Right? Remember you drop 1 and then by the chain rule 
I'm going to have the derivative with respect of x of x minus 1. Let me write it like that, which in fact is nothing else than 1. So I'm going to have here 2x times x minus 1 to the 4 power plus 4 times x squared plus 1 times x minus 1 to the third power. And like I said, the derivative with respect of, f of x minus 1 is just 1. Now we can factor out an x minus 3, x minus 1 to the third power in these two uh, terms. And we're going to have x minus 1 to the third power. Then we notice we can factor out a 2 here. And let's see what we have inside of the parentheses. We have an x, and then we have an x minus 1 on the first part, plus, and the second part we have x squared plus 1. Uh, a little bit more simplification. We're going to have 2 times the quantity x minus 1 to the third power. And here you're going to have x squared plus another x squared, that will be a 2x squared, minus x from this distributive property, plus this one, and that's it. And I think this is the final form of f prime of x. Of course, you may want to see if that 2x squared minus x plus 1 can be factored out, which I don't think it works. If you enjoy this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more help. Thank you.